Hey, what's going on, guys? I, uh... Is this working? Shit, I accidentally put on the, uh, auto... Or put off the auto start, rather. But I think we're all good right now. Let me just check the chat, see if you guys can see me. Hey, what's going on, Taco Salad? There you go, I see you guys. Taco Salad and Blink Blick and Cole. Damn, XRP, yeah, you know what? That XRP... I I had something I had gotten in August. And, th like, without expecting a lawsuit, I just heard some stuff was gonna, like, uh... I just heard it was gonna pop off. Then the lawsuit happened, and I was like, uh, maybe I should sell it. But I was like, fuck it, I'll hold on to it. And I'm glad I fucking held on to it. Let me... I'm just gonna tweet out the link to this. And bu -bu -bu, let me find where the fuck I am. But anyway, Dread X Collection: The Hunt. I played the I actually I played the three before these, the Dread X Collections, and each time I played some of the games and didn't finish them. Actually, wait. Let me check. There used to be a thing where you can like. Okay, yeah, it does work the same way. We can type in the, just, like, the live link. Not to be confused with live links. The live link, and I'll just go to it. Streaming. Dread XP. The Hunt. I actually... I recorded a cameo for this game. There's, like, a part with the radio. I haven't seen it. I don't know where it is or where to get it, but I recorded something. Like, a little, like... A little something in here. I don't know if we'll see it tonight or not. Well, maybe we will. But if you don't know what these are, they're collections of indie horror games. With a very, uh, mostly with a very PlayStation-esque aesthetic. Uh, story, let's do story mode. What's up, I am Kish. So, one of my friends... Artemis, this is Dr. Crane. You're probably surprised to be hearing from me. I promise I wouldn't reach out if it wasn't important. I'll cut to the chase. We need a tracker. Eight of us were able to escape the initial breach. We've set up a new base of operations to track the anomalies and come up with a solution. This is obviously very inspired to by inspired by the thing. Jump in me to watch again. It's been a while. We can take care of the rest. Again. Yeah, and that mug is actually it's it's a cool mug. But it's fucking unwieldy as fuck. My Necronomicon. should be an upcoming window for safe transit. So I've attached coordinates to this message. I hope we see you soon. Watch me fucking drop it doing this. Very nice mug. Not the most convenient to drink from. Ugh. You gotta put it down very delicately. Did I have this last time, the Necronomicon mug? I think I did, yeah. When I was doing the VR stream. All right, I'll be back in these waters in two weeks. I'll the give VR you a call stream. See if you need pickup. Good luck out there. The VR stream. It um, I actually had gotten the wireless mic to do it, but a lot of people were complaining nice about one, how wobbly Warm the mic was. The I mean, how wobbly the camera is. Maybe was. we'll have some time to work on your manners between saving the world or something. What's up, Phantom? <clears throat> Field report from tracker Artemis, on site at coordinates 76 degrees south by 27 degrees west, attempting to make contact with the team stationed at a base in the vicinity. No visible wildlife or locals, hostile or otherwise. If found, please deliver this log and, if possible, my remains to the West Bay Diesel Nomads. Um, how do you find other streamers? I know, so, if you look up streaming on YouTube, Locked. it will, uh um, Maybe I can blast it off? There's a, a streaming tab you can find. But it's not the best. Honestly, mostly, like, if I wind up finding a stream, it mostly just winds up being on my whoa, homepage. Whoa, alright, bad idea. <laughs> uh, maybe I can knock down that body from the roof? They must have a key. Well, the Bully Hunters. I forgot what the Bully Hunters logo looked like. But it's, it's kind of... 
you you bringing that up, organist, it vaguely makes that. I I feel like you're right, but I don't remember what it fucking looks like. There's a tab, but honestly, like, I most of the streaming that I see on YouTube, it winds up it's just on my homepage or. Hey, <laughs> if it works. Give me. A... In my tab, all right. Exterior, door key. Anyone home? It's your tracker. Hope y'all have some fresh. It is Autumn Ivy's voice, Pablo. Or something on the grill. <laughs> uh, okay. But yeah, but, uh... confirmed as Arc Two. Interior of base is cold. Likely been abandoned in at least a week. I'm gonna try and locate the generator. With any luck, I'll at least have a warm place to rest until retrieval. What's up, Sergeant Snake? Door is held by some kind of power lock. Um, but yeah, so. You and your friends were busy, huh? Damn, you keep interrupting me. But yeah, I'll get recommended a lot of streamers on YouTube on the homepage, or if you have autoplay on, sometimes it will eventually just put me into a live stream. Whether it be from somebody I watch, sometimes, a lot of times what happens when you're on autoplay, I don't know what the rhyme or reason is to it, but it happens often enough where it'll just randomly pop me into a live stream that just started and it'll be a small channel with like 10 viewers. Hey there, Artemis. It's Dr. Crane. What's up? It's my show. Look, I know it's been a while and I don't want to intrude. I Uncle Joey's MMA. Home. What's going on, dog? We've been working on a fix to all of this. A way to kill the cognito virus. Shout out Niall P. I can explain it all when you get here. Hello, Niall P. We've collected samples from some of the most aggressive shards. But Thanks, Jay Domu. Dangerous, and we need someone that can get us in close without raising the alarm. That's where you come in. I've attached some coordinates to this message, and I really hope you decide to join us. What time is it over there in South Africa, Sky? I'm gonna go again. Mysterious Senor Hitler says... Oh, Hilter, excuse me. Don't want to get that mixed up. I admit there was a stream that Razorfist Whoa! did, and he was playing Verdun, and I had the game... Oh, you stream sniped him? It's, uh... Did you, uh... It's, it's bad form, but if you had fun doing it, you had fun doing it. So... The way these games work, if you haven't seen them before, all this is basically like a hub world, and there's a bunch of mini game, a bunch of like different developers made the games in it, and you access them through the hub world. Now, this is the one that I've seen. Like this is like I think this might be the longest one, Axis Mundi. I had my friend tell me I need to play this one first, Octino sixty four by Akuma Kira. My friend was just really hyping that specific one up, so I think that'll be the first one that I play when I get through these. It's been eight fucking years. Encountered the team's operations room. Documents on site indicate some kind of plan to destroy the Cognito virus. Still no signs of the team. Located key to the generator. Let there be light! Warning. Catastrophic alerts detected in underground testing facility. Please proceed to area to assess damage and disengage alarm. Thanks for the two, Krabby. Uh, wonderful. Oh wait, oh, wait is down. the alert not? Hopefully. Oh, there it is. Such like a key from the damn roof or something. All right, but sorry. So now I think I can play the mini games. Did I play any sports? In school, not really, like not competitively. We would do volleyball in gym class, and I was like, that was one of the ones that I was pretty good at volleyball. Um, I would play basketball a lot with my friends, and I felt like I was kind of trash at it. But it was kind of those things where my friends at the time were so good. Oh, I gotta get the power on on the roof. I think. All right, ba -ba -ba. Just 
go down here and see what it is. But, yeah, I would play with my friends. And get, get my fucking ass fucking destroyed each week. Taking the lab key with me if this thing gets to the device. That would be very, very bad. Meet me upstairs. Yeah. Well, I kind of asked for this one. The fuck oh, is that? this is not uh, good for you. Wait, is that like a spiky foot? Or a destroyed foot? But yeah, I would play basketball almost every single day with my friends. And I was pretty, basically the worst player. But then when I would play with people who didn't play as much, I would fucking destroy them. So it was kind of thing where it's like I felt like I sucked. Because I was playing with people who were way better than me all the time. Until I wasn't. If I played now, I'd probably be trash, because I haven't touched basketball in, like, five years, but... Thanks for the one, KC. 22 roll tide. Alright, these are some clues right here. Do I can commit to memory? Everybody see my mower? Nothing wrong with me. Look at this graph. Wiggly, wiggly, wiggly. 15k hertz. We're running low on chips. This... Ooh -woo. Where is the eraser? Thanks for becoming a member, negative creep. Hilter again, thanks for the five. They really make you work for these mini games, like playing that organized crime simulator in the recent Virtua Fighter remaster. Yakuza. Yo, Chubby Emu, what's going on, dog? I actually, speaking of Chubby Emu, one of the stories I'm working on has, uh, a little bit of an interesting medical component to it. Actually, so it's um one of the ones I'm working on, I guess, is uh, Messy Tales. Which, if you don't know Messy Tales, it's uh... Oh, I already like looked that this out here, right? Uh, so, Messy Tales um, is the furry who covered his suit, his fursuit, in actual, in his own actual shit. And said he was going to become irreversibly, uncontrollably addicted to eating shit. And so he did that. And so whenever I bring him up, people are either like, oh, that guy died. Or they're like, oh, that guy got institutionalized. And both stories link back to, um... They link back to tweets that, to me, both... There's two different accounts that people base these things off of. And to me, both of these accounts seem like bullshit. In fact, one of the accounts is gone now. God's Burden. The Fiverr. Thanks, God's Burden. Hey there, Wang. I'm 3D printing an odorous Urungus to honor Dave Brocky. Do you have any favorite Guar moments? Do I like Guar? Um... I mean, one of my favorite Guar moments is the episode of Beavis and Butthead when they're watching Guar. Or just like, I associate Guar so much with Beavis and Butthead. Oh, we got, uh, here's where I'm going. All right. I associate so much, Guar so much with Beavis and Butthead. Just because, like, that was kind of a thing on the show, how much they love Guar. And then the Genesis game, the whole game is about getting your Guar tickets back together. There we go. Put the body on the roof. Put the body on the roof. We're up in Kud. What's your favorite hidden gem? A horror movie that doesn't rely on jump scares. I'll think about that in a second while I continue talk to talking about Guar. Thank you, Robin Kud. Um. But yeah, my, uh, one of my favorite Guar moments. Actually, the only time I ever got to see them live was at Warp Tour. The, the one year of Warp Tour that they headlined. Um, it was one of the only times I ever actually went to Warp Tour, too, because I was always like, I'm not paying for that shit. But then my friend Siler played, so they just like hooked us up that year. And we just fucking chilled. Um, but that was the year that Guar headlined, so I got to see fucking Guar, and that was awesome. My actually, I still have a pair. I was wearing a pair of white Air Force Ones that day. And they're so fucking... St I mean, now it's kind of like... The Guar stuff... It's kind of like... Just like grody and shitty. But it was all like colorful from the from the Guar show previously. 
Thanks for nutting, King Rat. I'm kind of also talking to the chat. I'm like half paying attention to what I'm fucking doing right now, which always seems to happen. I don't know. In, in a way, streaming and playing games is it's almost at times as bad as uh as confusing as street as singing and playing guitar. Not as not as confusing. It's considerably easier to do this. But in any case, now let me think. Horror movies that aren't reliant on jump scares. Robin could. Um, sh I mean, would, I don't think, I wouldn't consider The Beyond to be reliant on jump scares. Actually, The Beyond is one of the movies, I'm considering it for my, uh, my upcoming series. I mean, for the, uh, the horror movie series, rather. Wait. Lab key card. Oh, there we go, I had to put it in that side. Um, but yeah, the Beyond I wouldn't consider to be jump scare reliant. Or actually, Cemetery Man might even be more of a, a good choice for that. Is that too loud for you guys? Thanks for the two for Tom Green. Am I Philip Solo from the future? I'm Philip Solo from the uh, the Asian gal <laughs> the Asian galaxy. Philip Solo. I can't even hear myself think. Ugh. All done now. I haven't done a late night stream in a long time now that I think about it. I wonder how many people who used to watch me on Twitch are going to watch this on YouTube. Because that was like my usual... When I used to stream a lot on Twitch, it was always like late streams like this. And then I wound up on like on a weird sleep schedule where I was getting up earlier than normal all of a sudden. So I'm being locked until all seven... Sa oh, this is where the so game's come into play. this gizmo is going to save the world. Huh. Error. Pneumatic sample transfer system blocked. Please check connection located in cold storage vault. Oh, come on! Oh! Well, on the bright side, I was planning on checking out the whole place anyway. What's up, Wenders? Good as an excuse as any to see all the glorious sights. Order damaged textbook. Thanks for the five. Just finished watching the tape. I found a note tape. that shed some light on what they were One working second. on here. Seems the research team discovered a method of both neutralizing the cognitovirus and preventing further spread. Further information regarding the cognitovirus has been obtained and will be processed into a full report on conclusion of site sweep. Going to check the pneumatic sample transfer system now. Um, oh, water damage text textbook. Just finished watching the Tape World monster video on Sora. You were streaming good content, my dude. Thanks, man. Look forward to uh, the next ones I'm working on are that rope won't budge. The the uh, a, a song. The team had something that could cut it. I should check the bunk room. A lost media thing from uh, King of the Hill. That should be the next one. And messy tales. The brown nose pup. And then I'm also working on another horror movie episode. Alright, so this is the one my friend was- Alright, got- Oh, we still gotta get the power on? I thought we did all that. Alright, so what do I got here? <laughs> Julius Romano, graduating tomorrow, got a job as a programmer. Thanks, dude, and congratulations. It's- it's exceptionally hard to get a job right out of school, so... So, uh, congrats on that. I remember... When I graduated from college... I... I interviewed for so many weird-ass fucking jobs. I didn't get any of them. I interviewed for, uh... Graphic design for a medical textbook... Comp website company? It was something like that. I don't remember, like, exactly what it was. It was kind of, the, I went to interview with them, and then, like, the job was some kind of graphic design thing, but then I sat down with the woman, and it was basically a case of, you're gonna have to do every, everything. That rope won't budge. Gonna shoot Maybe the rope? one of the team had something that could cut it? I should check the bunk room. The bunk room.
Kagis. Hey man, it's White Justin. Thank you for the RT on my doodle. That was really cool. Get a cup of Joe and something tasty on me. Peace, P.S. Your nudes are safe. <gasps> oh, you were the thanks, dude. You were the one that drew that really like crazy looking one where it was like a like a monster arm, but like where the monster arm was placed, it kind of looked like a monster dick, <laughs> dick too. Hell yeah, that one was awesome. All right, looking for the bunks. Oh, there we go. Except this door is Lockerino'd. Then, oh yeah, someone asked before. This is the fourth collection. Door to bunk room. Oh, we got that that Silent Hill Four reference here. Well, we can't we can't just go around shooting everything. Corey Jeffrey, Whoa! thanks for the five. Maybe I am gonna rip them off. The King of the Hill Lost Media, it's um a song that plays in one of the episodes that people can't seem to figure out what it is. I uh, and I sat I listened to way a lot more pop punk songs that I would have liked to listen to. And I didn't find it. I feel like this is another one of those ones, like the Tape World Monster, though, that as soon as I get enough eyes on it, someone's just gonna know it right away. And the thing about King of the Hill, it's one of those songs where you could think that, oh, maybe someone made it, it, it was made just for the show. But King of the Hill used a lot of licensed music. A lot of it. Looking at it in context, it's kind of surprising how much money they threw around just to have so much licensed music in the show. It's from the episode, um, I don't think there's, like, a YouTube upload of just the song right now. It's a very short cut, too, but it's from the episode... Fuck. It's like the boy can't help himself or something like that, and it's the episode where Bobby's trying to get a date for homecoming. And, and everyone turns down, but then these three older girls find him and uh, take advantage of him. And they're all having him dance like a monkey and whatnot. What am I... I'm kind of like walking around aimlessly here. To get to the... Oh, wait, the axe! Surely I can... No. I, of course, why can't I pick up the axe? Fifteen... Are these, are these the same... Yeah, these are the same notes from the other room. Oh, yeah, I don't need to be out here. Gonna shoot the alky hole. Case reports. It's too dark for me to look at him yet. I need to go outside with the exit near the generator. Oh, okay, that's the one I tried to go. That's uh, almost as good as a tunnel, <laughs> except cold. Yeah, it didn't exposed. let me go out there before. And somehow even creepier. Hmm. Imagine if Mike Judge Interior thinks. Interior sweep inconclusive. Roughly half a dozen rooms still inaccessible. <gasps> Haven't located any further researchers, alive or otherwise. There are signs of a struggle, and one of the rooms has been sealed off. Continuing search in on-site vault. 
You're what? Thanks for the five. Imagine if Mike Judge made a horror movie. There is a good Halloween episode of King of the Hill. I gotta. I used to watch King of the Hill all the time, and then I would just. It because it was one of those shows that was on syndication all the time, like Seinfeld and The Simpsons. So we just see every episode when we would leave the TV well, on. Spoke too soon. It's been a while. Identified another researcher. Okay. Oh, I should be able to use that computer in the lab to retrieve samples. Let's just hope there's not some kind of a bomb or plague monster in the tunnel. You know what? <laughs> I'm uh, I'm not gonna jinx it. It looked like I just collected his whole ass body. Chuck Mangione donated ten dollars. Said pails from the Megalo Mart. You know, I, I in the video I worked on. Uh, oh shit, Merriweather! It's been a minute, dude. How are you doing, man? Um, in the uh, the the King of the Hill video that I'm working on, I mentioned the story at the beginning that I don't know if I'm the only one that had this. I'm sure a lot of people had this mis made this mistake. But I was not previously familiar with Chuck Mangione before King of the Hill. So at first, I thought he was a fictional character that they made up for the show. And then one day that song, Feels So Good, got stuck in my head from King of the Hill. And I looked it up and I'm, uh, it's like, oh, Chuck Mangione's actually a real person. I can't be the hey, only one. Guy. This one's just for you. Things here are quiet, but... Shit clearly went down. And there's something else I just can't put my finger on. It's like this whole place is trying to push me out somehow. Like one of those inflatable carnival obstacle courses for kids. Minji, I just got some coffee you can get through in my it Necronomica if you try, mug. But it's always pushing back. But, gods, if the stars aren't just damn beautiful out here. I mean, if you think those babies sparkle on the plains, then you gotta try a thousand miles from the nearest flashlight. Yeah, that's definitely a creature, not a regular person in there. It's still another 13 days until pickup. Yeah, I've known Merriweather for a minute. So it'll be a cold night. Even with the generator on. Like, Merriweather's been watching since my channel is tiny. I hope you're keeping the dogs close. Chloe always gets nervous when I'm gone. Thank you, you Vision Tainus. I'm a, I will keep doing what I'm doing. One of the big reasons I love you. I'll be home soon to tell you all this in person. If not... Tell mom I still haven't found her yet. Ye old sloth. I um I I haven't done any TV or movie work, especially now they have all these weird regulations with COVID. Hmm. They you, know, you they make you go take a test before you work on set. The, uh... Death. Which it's it makes sense, but basically Close any book you take now is double the time commitment. Several locked doors prevent conclusive sweep. Going to continue facility investigation. Primary goal: discover location of research team. Group's research is possible lead. But yeah, so and it, if I see a role that is something that interests me, it'll if it's like a cool featured role. I'll apply for it, but it's very rare. And the last time I did one of those, because I like to do the featured roles because it, it's still the same pay, but it it winds up being a thing where people, it, almost like this Where's Waldo thing where people find me in random TV shows. So it's a, just a fun thing to pop up like that. The last time I did that, though, it, it wound up being a bunch of us shoved into a jail cell, so it wasn't even really what it was purported to be. Scotty Boyo, thanks for the 10. Yo, Wang dude has doing have some money. I appreciate you giving me some Canadian money, Scotty Boyo. I recognize your uh your Rick and Morty avatar. From the from the member updates. Ionic, thanks for the five. Have I seen the new Dead by Daylight Resident Evil? Yo, I was actually meaning to talk about that dude. Because I saw that, and it seems like lately I only played Dead by Daylight. Oh, actually, when I start this game, I'm going to have to, like, switch windows here, because that's... They pop up in other windows. That's how it works. 
Um, before I get started, that, then I'll talk about Resident Evil Dead by Daylight. Or actually, while I switch the windows over, we can do that. Please let me window this. Yeah, cool. Kira. So, if you didn't see it, Dead by Daylight announced that the new DLC, it's going to be Resident Evil. But it's just a teaser. They didn't say, they didn't tell us what we're going to get yet. I'm hoping for the killer to be Tyrant. Because to me, Tyrant of the Resident Evil bosses is just the coolest one. I was talking about this on, oh, is the game capture not working? Oh, no, wait, I think it's because I... You know, or maybe I had to do a window capture for this game. Oh, no, I don't. Never mind. Um, oh, I'm in a butthole? Alright, so this is the one my friend was hyping up. He was just like, you need to play this one. Octina. Um. So, yeah. I hope it's the original Tyrant. I fuck with the soundtrack. Is that too loud? I fuck with the soundtrack. Uh, but yeah, I would love it for the for the killer to be the original tyrant because i just think he's the coolest looking one i was talking about it on twitter before but you got a monster with a big ass fucking claw uh, his ass beating hard on the outside of his body and and then they go from that to a guy in a trench coat and a fedora and that's supposed to be cooler i don't see it and uh, oh, Nemesis is an upgrade for Mr. X because he has the rocket launcher and the tentacles and stuff, but I still think Tyrant is cooler. Jeb's cabin. I would assume that the civilians they give you, it's going to be like Chris and Jill, right? Or, I mean, they can give you a few of them as different skins. I don't see, or maybe Leon they could give you. I mean, for that matter, they could have Tyrant and Mr. X be the the killers you get. All right, Hunter, normal difficulty. Enemies have normal. Let's do a. I want to. I want to do this real normal, like. A game by Akuma Kira. Mr. Krabby. That call, of course, Lady Dimitrescu goes that hard. Are you kidding me? Giant ass, fat titty, fat ass vampire chick? It doesn't get better than that. Hey, Jeff. Yeah. I just got a real good that, job. that checks off all what the boxes. Right like, now? you don't need anything well, besides that. Love from us. All right. Hell yeah, thank you for the the Australian hundred. Thanks, yo, Santa Lab, thank you for the, the I what I believe to be the Australian hundred. I mean you said from Oz, so what time is it over there? For you it's like a normal time over there. Shit. Hundred dollars, bro. I appreciate your a hundred uh spada. It's 3 p.m. in Australia. Move with either the left D stick or those WASD keys. Look around with the right thumb or mouse. With your legs faster, left bumper or shift. I guess this is intended to be a controller. It makes sense because it has a Nintendo 64 aesthetic. Put 
South Control, Cycle D pad, or Attack with the way these are written. Map with D pad or M, menu with start or tab. Try to take pics of any dead things for evidence. Number of pics needed are shown on the camera screen. Once you have enough, you can return. Let me go back. I feel like I skimmed over that. Broken optics. Thanks to the fiber. Thinking a Wang Tyrant is something I'm gonna draw. Hell yeah, that'd be sick. If you guys don't know, um, Optic Decay, who just sent that, he is the guy that, uh, he drew the, the Wang Dracula that I made a sticker. Alright, this game... <gasps> ...is Octina 64. I, I opened it up as if that was gonna help me pronounce it correctly, and it didn't. Octina. Let me like re I was like only half paying attention. All right, move. Look around with the right thumb or mouse. Legs faster by. Oh, shift. All right. Let's draw the all the normal stuff. Do stuff. Cycle weapons with Q. Attack aim. All right, everything is normal pretty much. Use that coffee. Ooh, I think my camera's the one in barrels. <laughs> they gave him the hillbilly voice. One of them barrels. Got my camera. Yeah, it definitely aesthetically, it definitely reminds me a lot of, of Squirrel Stapler. can't leave yet from the CDC bad virus is make animal species species go bad we give happy money for proof they dead this is real we are the CDC in this emergency don't die unless done no money if you die love center disease center <laughs> yeah this is Octina 64 so basically I just got to take pictures of dead stuff Oh, that's alive. Wowee! Now that I have enough picks, I can go to the next level. Thanks, Nikolai Simonov. Okay. John R, I sent you 999, dude. Please tell a joke. Wait, did that get lost or something? But in, in any case, dude, I will tell you a joke. Where did... Uh, it doesn't really work because I have long sleeve. I have short sleeves on, but... What? <laughs> wow! That was like the worst joke-telling botch ever. Because I gave away the fucking joke before I even started the joke. Where does George Washington keep his armies? In his sleeveys. That, that's the that's like the jeopardy of fucking joke telling where you tell your fucking tell the punchline before you even the fucking if before you even fucking uh tell the start of the joke jesus christ damian harris what's the best way to share thoughts on a potential video subjects with you email always email Sometimes I'll notice people will send me ideas to Instagram and I'll be like, oh, that's a good idea for a video. 
and then I'll screenshot it for my records, lose the screenshot, and I can't find it because you can't search Instagram messages. Email, I can search through my messages and go back and find it if, I, if it was a specific topic I'm looking for. So email is always the best way to send me ideas. And Vrutals, thank you for becoming a member. Oh wait, wait, someone... Someone missed the armies, Joe? Yeah, because like he keeps his armies, like his ar his armies are in his sleeves. Camera, knife. See. Have I heard of Lost Media Monsters on Twitter? I haven't. Well, let's take a picture of you because you're dead. Good contrast. something over here too have our sippies oh there's a turkey in the bar and he's attacking me I don't know the turkeys would attack you You call that a fucking knife? Now I'm just thinking about OKI's knife video. Okay, I don't know if you guys watch OKI's Weird Stories. Good channel. Um, but he lately he's been getting very into, uh... Very into knives and whatnot. Oh, it's a weird colored turkey. He's special, I'm guessing. Come on. No good? Can't believe my eyes. It's the turkeys. Turkey. But yeah, Okia has been getting really into collecting knives. So he has this video he put out on his Twitter where it's just him like showing all his knives, but he has the most deadpan face in it. It's you, you just gotta look at it. It has a, a very very strange aura to it. What's it. Oh, more ammo. Okay. Uh, he also... He has that Japanese lady. With the okay eye at the beginning of it. And I, I always wondered where he got that from. And today he posted it. It's from some Japanese commercial he got it from. Yeah, let's have more sippies. Why not? Um, negative creep. How do I feel about the doge rise? I knew it was going to happen again. I held on to some, but honestly, I've been selling some of mine on the way up. Because doge is not a long-term investment. It's It has inflation built into how the coin is designed. But at the same time, the different cycles of hype will make it something that you can kind of... You can try and time it and, you know, sell... Sell the top and buy the bottom. Ideally, half the time you wind up fucking doing it in the opposite way and fucking yourself. But, uh, if you don't overinvest yourself, it's fun to look at. Oh, this is some, some sucking dick thing. So, it probably actually means something. What is, alright, so suck Ryu's dick. Wow, Wang. The slurp. We're in. More sippies. Oh! Oh, 
Oh. Oh, no, let's just do it the knife style, huh? Seems better for these. Not too bad. Oh, wait, is this not dead? Or is that just to show? Oh, I think it's just to show me to take a picture here. Woo! Yeah, that's a fancy one. Torki. Torki. You like it, that Torki? Where the fuck? I always think that because there is a guy that. Oh, it was a delivery. It was a place I used to order from at my old job. That they, I would, they had really good turkey burgers that I would order, but they, the guy, whoever it was that wrote that, always spelled turkey with a fucking Q. Turkey. Like T-U-R-Q-U-I. I'd never seen it spelled like that before or since. But now it's, it's perpetually just stuck in my brain. Turkey. It was one of those places... Um, it, it wasn't Kennedy fried chicken. It was, it, I think it was palace fried chicken around New York. You got all these different chicken places. There's, there's a Kennedy fried chicken, palace fried chicken, crown fried chicken, Obama fried chicken. I'm not even making it up. There literally is a place, Obama fried chicken. Um, but they all in the way that every Chinese restaurant around the country just has the same stuff, all, like, these chicken places are another kind of template like that. And they'll all have... It's not just chicken. It'll be fried chicken. It'll be pizza. Um, you can get the halal chicken rice there. Gyros. Um, fish, fried fish. They all have this thing called a pizza roll that... It's an egg roll, but instead of the egg roll stuff inside, it's stuffed with pizza. So, uh, it's not all of them are good, but they're kind of... Wait, so... I see the red thing here where there's a blood stain. I wonder if it wants me... Oh, no, it doesn't. I just had to sum... What the fuck? Fucking Knuckles Chaotix over here. Are they connected by the Gobble Gobble thing? Is that what's going on? Gobble gobble time is over. Good contract. Oh, there's one at the top. There we go. Gobble gobble time is real is canceled now. Good shot. Wowie. I love these crunchy leaves. Lives. Oh shit, headless turkey. Powgers. <laughs> really? Powgers. Powgers. Oh, there's something here. The Turkey Bible. Hero of Horned Snakes. In ancient times, there lived very large snakes that glittered nearly as bright as the sun. They had two horns on their heads, and they possessed a magic power of attraction. To see one of these snakes was always a bad omen. Whoever tried to escape from one instead ran directly toward the snake and was devoured. 
Only a highly skilled medicine man or hunter could kill a two-horned snake. It required a very special medicine or power. The hunter had to shoot his arrow into the seventh stripe of the snake's skin. One day, a Shawnee Indian youth was held captive by the Cherokees. He was promised his freedom if he could find and kill a horned snake. He hunted for many, many days in caves, over wild mountains, and at last found one high in the Tennessee mountains. The Shawnee youth made a large circle of fire by burning pine cones. Then, he walked toward the two-horned snake. When it saw the hunter, the snake slowly raised its head. The Shawnee youth shouted, Freedom or death! Then he aimed carefully and shot his arrow through the seventh stripe of the horned snake's skin. Turning quickly, he jumped into the center of the ring of fire, where he felt safe from the snake. A stream of poison flowed from the snake, but was stopped by the fire. Because of the Shoni youth's bravery, the grateful Cherokees granted him his freedom, as they had promised. Four days later, some of the Cher- uh, I didn't want to turn the book. Some of the Cherokees went to the spot where the youth had killed the horned snake. They had fragments of snake bones and skin, tying them into a sacred bundle. They then, these they kept carefully for their children and grandchildren because they believed the sacred bundle would bring good fortune to their tribe. Also, on the same spot, a small lake formed containing black water. Into this water, the Cherokee women dipped their twigs used in their basket making. This is how they learned to dye their baskets black along with other colors. Thanks for the five, Kim Eshim. Have ever played Deadly Premonition? I 100% recommend it. Just not the PC version. It has more bugs than Oogie Boogie. Yeah, I actually I have Deadly Premonition for Xbox 360. Um, but my my drive on my 360 got fucked up, so I never actually got to play it. And thanks for the five, Medicated Child. I heard De Deadly Premonition is very good though. That, and I actually, I have Ill Bleed too, which is another one I've been meaning to play and just never got around to. And lately, instead of the actual old uh, horror games, I've just, I've just been on these, these new retro style horror games that I just haven't played the actual old ones lately. Is Deadly Premonition too bad? Because I've heard this. What's up, Ghoul Joe? There's still more to be found here. I know. It's a collection of horror games. But yeah, see, it's hard. The, we got the Knuckles Chaotix the Turkey is connected by the Gobble Gobble. That's horrific. Oh, the Deadly Premonition 2 is bad? Yeah. To be clear, I don't have a copy of Ill Bleed. I have the, uh, the ISO for it. Or whatever the, that file is. Back in the day, I really badly wanted to play it. And I don't remember if I wanted to play it now because it was... I heard it was good. Or if it's because I read a magazine about how, like, your character's clothes get ripped up when you when you play it. Then I'm like, oh my god, there's boobies in the, there's boobies in the game. I gotta play it. Oh my goodness. Yo, Sid, thank you for the dollar. Sid's been chopping up some of my streams. Oh, I feel like lately a lot of the streams I've been doing, they don't really have. They don't. I feel like I'm kind of. My thoughts are coming out like very sporadically in these things in ways that don't necessarily lend themselves to longer clips. But they uh, they emerge from time to time. I I feel like I cleared this level. Oh wait, there's a barrel there that's undestroyed. My chicken starved. I fed them and fed them and they must have been sick. No matter how much feed they had, they didn't eat. Watched it wither away in just a matter of days. Thrill kill. I remember thrill kill. Uh, being so hyped on that. Because it's like, oh my god, this game's going to be so violent. And there's four players. Which was unheard of back then. 
Not unheard of, but for a fighting game, you didn't really have four on four fighting games. And then they made it the Wu Tang game, which I never played. What's up, Double Toked? Yeah, I know, my stream schedule is super sporadic. Adorable difficulty. Oh, Shaq Fu, that reminds me, I have Shaq Fu 2 still. I got Shaq Fu 2 free with that Amazon gaming shit. I don't know if Shaq Fu 2 is any good. Honestly, in my opinion... Oh, I don't have the turkey call on this one. In my opinion, the first Shaq Fu isn't as bad as it was, it was made out to be. Don't get me wrong, it's not a good game by any means. But people act like Shaq Fu is the worst game ever made. The Octina, part one. That's the name of the game. Long ago, the sun became angry at the people on Earth and sent the sickness to destroy them. Yeah. Oh, word. The little man changed the man into a monster snake, which they called Octina, the keen-eyed, and sent him to kill the sun. He failed, and the rattlesnake was sent instead, which made the Octina so angry that the people were afraid and had him taken to Galuna Gal Galunlati to stay with the other dangerous things. He left others behind him, nearly as large and dangerous as himself. And they hide now in deep pools in the river and lonely passes in the high mountains. The place is the Cherokee School, where the Octina stays. <laughs> Creeper weirdo. Have you ever seen the movie A Boy and His Dog? It's so good. Am I a fan of post-apocalyptic movies? I did watch that one. Way, a very long time ago at my old job. Um... Honestly, it's been so long, and it was on my old job, so I had to, like, pay half attention to it that I probably couldn't tell you what it was about anymore. But, I remember really liking it. And for a while, I was super into the Mad Max movies. I, you know what's a post-apocalyptic movie that always stayed with me weirdly? Like, it's not good. But it, it just, it's something that pops into my head all the time. The, um, I don't, it's one of the Planet of the Apes movies. Once again... Another one that I watched at work. One of my coworkers was this older pothead dude, and he would just constantly he had this um the Planet of the Apes box set that he would just like be super into, and there is one of them where there's telepathic apes underneath the earth. That that's such a weird fucking movie. But sometimes little things just remind me of it. I think it's called Underneath the Planet of the Apes or something like that. It might be the third or fourth one. Eight Thoughts. What's going on, dude? Is this the actual Eight Thoughts? Did you make another account, or... Because you don't got your verified there, so I don't know. No, it's not. But the, that's, that sounds like something the real eight thoughts would say, that it's not the real eight thoughts. I go for some good-ass post-apocalyptic movies, too. Even, like, ones I saw, too. I would, I would mean to go back and watch The Running Man again. That's a good one. I mean, Logan's Run. Logan, I fucking loved Logan's Run when I saw it, even though I only watched it one time. Soylent Green, that's another one. That's that's another it's like scene I think about all the time. The one where they kind of push you in your in that bed to die. Oh oh they seen oh they seat me, I think. Oh crap. Alright, I need to find some sippies. Top loaded gaming, thanks for the five. Have you Heard about the boat in the Gulf that flipped called Seacore Power. It's like the Poseidon Adventure. There's still some traps in that. Is that, this a recent thing? I don't think I've heard about this. Ooh wee, this is good. Frisky. 
Ooh wee, this is good. Ooh wee. Ooh wee. Eat the dogs. You know, I'm gonna go try. Just because I've played so many games recently where you do eat the things you kill. You can't eat the dogs, though. Like dogs? You know, Escape from New York. Mac Daddy. That, I need to give it another chance. When I watched Escape from New York back in the day, I didn't like it. I, I, I Back when I watched it first, I just found it boring. But I feel like it's something that I would like if I gave it another chance. Yeah, I saw Jacob. You know what? I saw Jacob's Ladder back in the day. And I, I originally watched it because I had heard about how, it's, how like Silent Hill took inspiration from it and shit. But, th so, but then I was expecting a movie that was like Silent Hill. And... There's some clear aesthetic inspirations that Silent Hill took from Jacob's Ladder, but it's, if you're going into it expecting the Silent Hill movie, it's not that's not what you get in there. Radical. Thanks, G boy. Come on, there's no sippies around for me. Sit. Oh, thank you. Mm, this is delicious. I needed those sippies. I can eat the hot chip. How will I lie if I don't get the hot chip? What is up, Julia? Yeah, like long shot Omega. That was because like you can. Def there's definitely things that, like aesthetically, that Silent Hill did take in a little inspiration aesthetically from Jacob Slider, but I had that recommended to me back in the day as a movie that's like Silent Hill. You couldn't call that like Silent Hill. I mean, they negative creep. They were saying this before there was a Silent Hill movie. Oh, oh, it's it's like in the story. Radical. Totally awesome, dude. Watched a movie called I Saw the Devil. Yeah, that was a dope fucking movie. I It's been a while since I watched that one, too. I watched that one when it came out, and it blew me... It fucking blew me away, that movie. Oh, uh, the point, like, we just, we got, we just got to collect the photos. That's just what the game is. Oh, hello, sir. Mr. Skins, Anim, Aminal. Boring. Oh, there's an Aminal in the tree, too. Should be better. That's uh, Aminolas. He's about to be coming right for me. See, this is, you ever see a picture of a deer actually shedding its horns or even see it in real life? I didn't realize until someone recently that that's a real thing. And you'll find deer that have just that fucking gore hanging from their horns because that is it's the craziest looking shit. Oh, Herb, I fucking love the new Creepshow series. The first ep- the very first episode of the new Creepshow series, which, uh, well, of course, um, use code Y if you got Shudder. 
Um, the very first episode of the new Creepshow series, I was like, alright, this was alright. But, I love the second episode. The, well, the second part of the first episode. With the dollhouse, I believe that was the dollhouse episode. Oh, he's thick. Yeah, yeah Gramerson, the guy, the guy in the game said Poggers when I took that picture. Poggers. I was expecting, honestly, to not like the new Creepshow movie. I mean, the Creepshow series. But... Highly recommend it. Honestly, I've never not been... I'm not just saying this because I'm fucking sponsored by them. But I have yet to be disappointed by any Shudder original. Terrible ringing in my head gets louder by the day, accompanied by freakish nightmares. Last night, I was visited by distorted viscous owls. They warned me of something, and I felt complete dread overwhelm me. I knew it was a dream, but I was so worried. <gasps> I didn't know what I was worried about. I just felt terror. Maybe something happened in that dream that I can't remember now. Am I familiar with Italian horror movies? With uh, Deep Red, yes. I am familiar with Deep Red. That Deep Red is the one with John Saxon, right? Or am I confusing that with another one? But I do... I am familiar with Italian horror in general. Actually, I'm considering the next Oops All Kills episode to be The Beyond. Which is... I've most... For that series, I've mostly done wacky horror movies. But that one is just one that I seriously like a lot. But it does have some, like, crazy fucking kills. <laughs> Hell yeah, thanks for the five action, bastard. I think I've been following you for a while. I don't know. I, th I might, maybe not, but I'm pretty sure I've been following you for a, a while on Twitter. The ringing seems louder near the heart of the forest. Like it has a direction now. My dreams haven't stopped either, they just keep getting worse. I remember less and less of my dreams, but the feeling of complete terror lingers in my skull. Something about a crow or a vulture and my veins had become vines. High tension, uh, Herb, high tension was French. There was, um, a period of time, maybe like a decade ago or so, where all the craziest horror movies were French. High tension, martyrs, inside... Those are just the three to come to mind, but there were a lot of them. Yeah, John Saxon, um, negative creep. John Saxon, uh, he was, who was, um, you know, he's the father from Nightmare on Elm Street. He was in Enter the Dragon. Um, uh, he, he's a guy that, he just pops up in weird places. Like, John Saxon was was all over the place, and he just did a lot of... A lot of, uh... A different kind of niche genre movies. He died recently, didn't he? He, uh... I, he, didn't he die this past year, I think, John Saxton? Oh, thanks again, Action Bastard. Coast Ghost 64. Did I work at a video store? No. I didn't work at a video store. I used to work at a, a music studio. Honestly, like, the music studio was the only real... Well, unless you count working on movies as a real job... I mean, I guess, it, I mean, it's, you know, paid my bills and had times I had to be there. So I guess it is a real job working as an extra movies. But the only customer facing job that I ever had was the music studio. 
but I watched a lot of mu movies at the uh, the music studio because there's a lot of downtime that kind of work. And at that same time, that's when I had that blockbuster mail away service. When they when at the, there was a time when Netflix was originally just um, you know, you mail. Fuck you, TV. Extreme. Extreme green tea. Um. But yeah, so when Netflix was a mail-away service, uh, Blockbuster introduced their own mailing service. And Blockbuster's was way better, because for the same price... You could take the DVDs that they mail to you, trade them in for a new st for a new movie immediately at a store, and while you're watching the movies you got from the store, they would mail you more movies. So essentially, you were just you were getting not you were getting double what you were getting with Netflix, and with the added bonus of instant gratification. But obviously, we see all that turned out for them. Apparently, they lost mad money on that deal, so. That didn't help the, survive, the survival of, uh, Blockbuster. <gasps> Morty McDort with the DKK50. So I leak. I don't know what DKK is. I'm bad with country money codes, but thank you for the DKK50. So yeah, saw so a, a deer trying to cross a lake, just waiting for it to fall in. That's not nice. But it lost its antlers instead. Yeah, deer... Like, look it up. Antler shedding... Like, deer shedding its antlers. It's the crazy... If, you don't, if you've never seen that before, it's the craziest looking shit. Thanks for the five never here. What would I recommend music-wise? What am I jamming now? Um... I like the new Era album. That's E-R-R-A... The new brand of Sacrifice album I'm enjoying. This band Methwitch is good. Um, honestly, what I've been doing though a lot is Spotify has its 90s. It has its algorithm playlists that are just based on your listening habits. And when you go by the decade, if especially if you have a very eclectic mix of songs you like, it will... Uh, the 90s or the 80s or the 2000s mix will be some, like, weird eclectic shit. But it's all, like, stuff I fuck with. That's all... All that stuff is based on your listening habits. Action oh, Bastard. Thanks well. for the five again. Will I stream Shadow Man next? Um, is Shadow Man a game... In, a, like, a game in this collection? Because maybe. If that's the request of it, um... It's a request from this game. I'm down for that. I have no special uh, desire for any of the preferences for a uh, special preference for any order in here. So, also thank you for becoming members, Mr. Envy the Dead and Nyarla Nyarla Hotep. The members, in addition to their badges, they get the uh, the first version of the videos I make, where it's like, so when I edit a video. The first pass of it, I don't really put any music or overlays and, like, different graphics and stuff like that. So, if you want to listen to, like, the very bare-bones version of it, of a video before I put it out a few days earlier before I'm done editing. Uh, those are good for that. Uh, where's my car? Oh, there's my car. But I don't think I can go back yet. I've got to get to the other side of the mountain. Oh, actually, wait, it tells... Oh, I see, it tells me where I gotta go. Well, Alright, so then let's not wander aimlessly. <gasps> the Enlightened Mr. Peabody. Video games is cats for dudes. Dude, cats are cats for dudes. I mean, I'm allergic, I'm allergic to cats, but I like them. I think this is where... Oh, yeah. See, I was looking at this like I had to go over the mountain or some shit. Oh, that's what we got here.
There's another here, huh? Unless that was a weird dead thing. Look at them cameras. What's up, Amata Nui? Oh no. He's like, why have you killed my other wolf brethren? Way to go. Well done. And I think we're done with this level. There's someone talking about something now, and I just, I don't remember what... I lost my train of thought on something. What was I talking about before this now? Oh, shit. There's another creepazoid flesh beast over here. Oh, I see you. What is this now? Creepy dog. Wowie. Oh yeah, I was talking about me being allergic to cats. <laughs> I don't. Know, I guess there's not that much more to the story. I'm allergic to cats. I used to have cats at my old job. But it's weird because it, sometimes they'll fuck me up. But then when I was at my job with the old cats, they would just. I guess I would just get to a certain baseline of allowing myself to feel allergies and just be like, alright, I guess, I guess I'm gonna be a little allergic right now. Ace High, I remember that, the Turok publicity stunt. They had a stunt where people could change their, their name to Turok. In promotion of the Turok game. I what did they get? I think they got 20 grand or something like that. It was not a lot of money to, uh... Or wasn't it a tattoo as well? I think... I feel like someone got a Turok face tattoo or something crazy like that. I might be mixing it up with something else. But I think that was a thing. I know the baby name thing was a thing, that for sure. Phantom You Never Wanted. I actually, I do have a playlist for it in my playlist. It's far from complete. But I have some of them. I think I have all, like, the recurring ones in there, for sure. Howling Marsh. So this game, it's the Dread X Collection, and this is one of the games in here. I keep forgetting the actual name of it. Large screaming bears have been marked in this old abandoned township. Uktina 64. Which, uh, clearly... The enlightened Mr. Peabody. If white, if whole white privilege is getting away with speeding, is black privilege getting away with stealing bicycles? No comment on that one, bruv. I mean, I think it was it said the best where it's like you're gonna everyone just kind of like gets away with I'm not you steal. Sure if you ever have anything stolen Whoa. from you, you're not getting it back no matter who stole it, for the most part. Oh my god, this bear won't die. Oh, oh, oh. Yo. Alright. Antonio Sanders. Wang, my dude, thank you for being awake, bro. Thank you, Antonio. My sleep schedule is all over the place. For a while, I was doing 7 a.m. streams, and now we're back to... When I used to stream on fucking, um... On Twitch. A lot. It used to always be on this kind of schedule. Ooh. 
Smells like barbecue in here. Oh, oh, we got a new gun. Yeah, Wessels. For when I started streaming more on YouTube, I just fell into an earlier schedule. For whatever reason. And it was saying in the early streams. It was uh, alright, the end has come. All is nigh. To lose oneself as I shall is a worse death. You cannot understand my mercy. When the time shall come for burial, you may retrieve the key from the old graveyard. It's a clue. It's a clue, guys. Um. Yeah. So as I was saying on the earlier streams, technically, the what the data shows us, if you want to have a, a data-driven perspective, is that if you wants to grow streaming, the time to stream is actually early in the morning. Because you got a lot of, like, early, when I say early in the morning, I mean like 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. Because you wind up in a situation where you got a lot of people looking for something to watch. But most streamers don't feel like being fucking awake at 7 in the morning. So you got a, a big audience and not as much competition. So for people looking to stream, to grow as a streamer, that's the time to do it. I just, for me personally, I just stream whenever I can get be get around to it whenever i feel like i have enough work done that i could play a game and talk to you guys while i do it broken optics thanks to the five skyrim and turok was baby name shadow man was ads on people's tombstones that was oh i missed that completely i'm sure if i showed shadow man if i saw shadow man rather i would remember it okay it shoots a little faster I would probably remember it if I saw it. Oh god, no. Oh, you're a strong animal. Guess I better go back and get those sippies, huh? Well done. Wait, that's like I said, that's the time if you wanna if you wanna make yourself get up early. That's the thing, like it there are a lot of quirks to my personality that kind of keep me from if, if i want to take like a hardcore business approach to streaming and whatnot the way you do it is it like say hypothetically i had no i had no online presence at all and i was starting from absolute scratch the main thing I would be trying to drive people towards is I would schedule a stream every day, 7 in the morning, and then have clip st stream clips on TikTok. And that would be the absolute business approach to it. But the thing about me is I don't like to have to be awake and doing something at specific times on any day. So I, I, do, I just do things how I'm going to do them suboptimally but in a way that i am comfortable with all right so we got the two little ball sacks for for us to go into or kind of looks like a geo dude with one foot so we're gonna go down we're going south then we'll go back up and then we're going to go south southeast What what made him think about curse words? Oh, we got another big bear. That's the trick for them. You got to switch the guns. Curse words are stanky. Come on. What's cool too, talking about people doing shit on TikTok. There's a lot of people that I've seen that 
you know, they were trying to have content go blow up on, like, like trying to do things on YouTube and Twitch, and they finally, like, hit that TikTok algorithm, and then they kind of succeeded at kind of growing the shit they were doing. Day 5. I feel at fault for what has happened. But how could I have known? The seeds I brought back with me spread like a fire. It's more animal than plant, and seems drawn to blood. Thank you again, Mr. Peabody. If Apollo is short for uh, Apollyon, and Apollyon is the devil, is NASA evil? I mean, I guess. <laughs> uh, NASA will, uh... Well, actually, I don't know that NASA will kind of get us out into the other things. I feel like most space exploration now is kind of moved into the, uh... The realm of the private investors these days. Maybe, uh, will they unlock some crazy dead space type shit, though? Who knows? Snort that Whoa! shit, thanks for the two. What's he says, what's up, Wang? Someone must have slipped me something the other night. Yesterday, while surveying, I fell into a dreamlike state. I only have brief impressionistic memories of the trek. And at some point, I gathered a, a bunch of strange iridescent seeds. I've planted a few and will document their growth. I want to do it. I want to look at some crazy shit. Oh, yeah, back to the TikTok. The thing about TikTok, it's. I don't know why I did that. People be like, uh, like, don't, they'll have an idea of what TikTok is if they don't use it. If you do use it, you'll see it. There's all different kinds of shit on there. It, it very, it's very good at tailoring. Hmm. I wonder what eating the, I guess eating the rose would have just given me health if I was damaged. But there's a lot of different niches that you can grow in on there. And, the way the algorithm is, it's probably the best place for someone to grow if they don't already have a platform. For sure. Absolutely the easiest place to grow from nothing. Oh my, yo, the political, I don't get that many political TikToks. Probably because I don't really watch or interact with them, but everyone's, most of the political TikToks that I see are the ones that someone got pissed off about, so they posted on Twitter. Or like the really stupid takes that got posted on Twitter. I very rarely actually see them on TikTok, because I guess it's just not the kind of content that I interact with. Some most con most TikTok politics, it's basically like pointing at words and making a smug face, and that's my that's my political take on TikTok. That's ninety percent of the TikTok political content. Get him, cowboy. What's up, dog? Bro, we about to see Jeebus. Oh wait, this is that. They were talking about something like this here. Oh, the key from the uh the thing that I read on the piece of paper before. I will say though, early on, like several months ago on TikTok, the algorithm was giving me a lot of dumb shit that was fun to do duets and stitch with. But I'm not getting as much as that lately. 
in general, I feel like. It's always. I got the church key, but. Is this. Where's the church? I would think this was the church, but I guess it's not. Church. Oh, no, wait, there's, like, a bunch of stuff over here. One of these is probably the church. There we go, there's the church. That's it. Wait, pardon? Hmm. I think that's just because of the time pass, not for me hitting it. Oh my god. Damn. Now at least I know to expect that bear. Oh yeah, Changeling Lumen. So speaking of that, I noticed because like in general, people don't watch these streams as much as they watch my regular videos, because you know this is not really a a gaming channel per se. I sometimes co cover gaming topics, but that's not like a gameplay channel, you know? But I do the streams on here. Next to the five or eight thoughts. Damn it. I didn't get the revolver yet. The cook at your Chinese restaurant was attacked. And no longer delivers. You don't blame him. Damn, that fucking sucks ass. That, even, like, before recently, I would hear, like, about, like, Chinese delivery dudes getting attacked all the fucking time. Um. Shit, what was I saying before that now? Oh, yeah, like, the different type of content that's on here. So, usual, so, it's just, like, a different type of content than what people usually watch on my channel, so less people watch it. But... What happens is, and what happened is, I, I've noticed that like these kinds of streams in general, people are more interested in watching. Ooh, like barbecue in here. But, sorry, locked door. Like these types of games, as opposed to if I play, you know, like a more mainstream game or something. Although, like I said before, the uh, the Call of Duty streams seem to do strangely well for me.
Yeah, I guess I'm better off just leaving the, uh, the revolver for these encounters than switching guns. Because it happens slower. But then, something that confused me recently, uh, I did one that was the Haunted PlayStation game, which is, it's another game like this, another, uh, collection of horror games. Actually, they just put out a recent, uh, put out the new, uh, this year's edition of the Haunted PlayStation disc. But I noticed that that one gets not as many views as a Tales from the Internet episode, but in like in the neighborhood of views I might get on a Tales from the Internet episode. And I wonder if if it's because people want to see that particular uh, that particular gameplay, or if because it's called the Haunted PlayStation One disc, if people click on it thinking it's going to be about an actual haunted disc, but it's a game called the Haunted PlayStation disc. I think it might be the uh, the confusion that's getting it more clicks and maybe people to stick around. Although, I did wind up getting subs from it. Later, Ace. So what's left here? Go down and get those keys. Thanks, Mike Cruiser. What time is it over there in Russia? Oh, oh. I hear bears. Let's see, like, the... It's weird too with streaming on a on a, on a, a normal channel like this, because some people have really bad experiences with it. Actually, strangely, um, I don't know if you guys know Top Hat Gaming Man. Top Hat Gaming Man recently put out a video talking about how streaming on his main channel, uh, like kind of like fucked him in the algorithm. And I've heard he's like a retro gaming channel. And, and you would think a retro gaming channel would have better results with streaming on their channel than a channel like mine, but he had a problem with it where it, it kind of like took him out of the algorithm, and I've heard the same thing from other retro gaming channels. So it's, it's like specifically that field gets fucked by streaming. And this one actually... I mean, on my channel, I've actually had the experience, like, the first time I started, the first time I did a gaming stream on YouTube in the past recent time, I was worried that it would fuck me in the algorithm, but then I was like, you know what, like, let me try it, because people come into the Twitch stream and be like, hey, why don't you just stream on YouTube, because you got more people there, and most of us just like to, uh, watch you on there anyway, it wouldn't make a difference. Sir Perry, thanks for the five. Do I watch? Do I follow Rogue Internet Man on Twitter? I don't know, to be honest. Maybe. I follow like, all, all, like thousands of people, so it kind of gets lost in the shuffle potential. I haven't interacted with Rogue Internet Man though. I don't think. But. But yeah, and some people make it like a separate streaming channel and whatnot. Um. But then when I tried the stream on my channel, the, like two days after, I had an old video blow up and get thousands of views out of nowhere. And the second time I streamed on the channel, the same thing happened again with a different old video. So I was like, is this, is streaming on the channel cause me to actually get boosted in the algorithm as opposed to get fucked in the algorithm, which is the conventional wisdom. That mixing your content like that fucks you, because that's how it's always been. But I, I guess it just, it really depends on the channel, although, you know, they've, they've made a lot of, um, YouTube wants you to stream on your platform. They, they want you to stream on your channel. They even have, like, the separate things to kind of, <laughs> thanks Chris Noble for the 20. 
I forgot I had text to speech on for those, and I'm just like, oh. Call me off guard. But everything, you look how everything's set up in YouTube. YouTube wants you to be streaming. They, they want you to be mixing your content. But sometimes the uh, audience behavior doesn't match up with it. Like, there was this guy, Todd, that I talked to. It was uh, months ago when I was using tick, using uh, Clubhouse actively. And then I kind of stopped. Because it was just like, oh, every single room I see on Clubhouse is just like some like, weird fucking grift. But for a while, I was having a good time on it. And there was this one guy I spoke to, Todd, who would actually... He worked for YouTube in the algorithm capacity. Like, he had some idea about how stuff works. And what he told me was that mixing your streaming content with your video content, it's not necessarily going to give you a bump in views or it's not necessarily going to hurt you in views. It kind of, it's all a matter of individual behavior. So if your audience, when you wrap up a stream, if everyone goes and then watches a regular video, that's going to help you. But then if you're putting out streams that, like, nobody on your channel, like, they don't click on it. He, he made it seem like everything is very, uh, like, a lot more individualized, the individual piece of content. Which, it makes sense. It, I, at any given time, your video is getting... It all comes down to click-through rate and percentages. I, like, at this point, it's for me. To, it's like an old thing for me to say, but click-through rate is the thing that... Uh, click-through rate... A mix of click-through rate and watch time is the thing that they value the most. flower. Alright, now I got your ass there. This fucking bear is not gonna kill me again! He's gonna kill me again! Can I eat the flower again? I can. Train, thanks for the five. I've really enjoyed these horror S games with the PS1 horror games with the PS1 X graphics. Yeah. I feel like this is like the right vibe of stuff for me to be streaming on my channel too. Like it's it kind of goes along with the kinds of weird game with the weird shit I talk about in my videos. To have these kinds of weird games that I'm playing too. George Moore, you purchased a Quest 2 and Alex because of me. Hell yeah, I still need to finish that. I don't know if I want to finish Alex, Half-Life Alex on a stream though, because it was it was so unwieldy to stream that, and people were complaining that the camera was too shaky for them to actually enjoy the stream. So, so I don't know. I definitely gotta finish it though. Nix Hex. Thanks for the five. Talk to Nick Ricada about live streaming curbing his channel growth. Is it? Because he I know he like primarily live streams, doesn't he? Like doesn't is it his format like he'll kinda like do the live streams and then cut out the interesting segments? Dylan, thanks for becoming a member. Dylan Giros. He moves the live streams to a second channel. I got 10 out of 6 critters. This is such a, like a 90s, early 2000s, 90s racing game. 
menu music. I feel like I'm about to play Daytona USA or some shit. Or what was that racing game that came with Xbox, the original Xbox? I don't even remember. It was like top some Project Gotham Racing, that's what it was. Sir Perry, thanks for the two. Oh yeah, I didn't finish Half-Life Alex yet. I haven't really had time to stream lately. And then it was like, do I want to... I wasn't sure if I wanted to finish it on stream or not. I think I'm just going to finish it on my own though, mostly stream stuff like this stuff. Action Bastard, thanks again for the five. Oh, we're in the forest at night. Liz, um, so this is the Dread X Collection. The game is Octina 64, and the Dread X Collection is a collection of indie horror games. This one, we're, we're killing critters in the forest and taking pictures of them. Hmm. One more photo. I feel like this is the end of the game we're coming up on here. Killing some craters. I don't know why I keep checking them out. There's only one way for me to go. We gonna kill some craters. Have I seen a horror game called Walk? I don't believe I had. What do we got here? We got a little, a little Bob Y symbol. There's something over here. Later, Hazy Crazy. Have I ever curled my hair before? Jesus Christ, Minji Lindsay. That would... I have not attempted that, and I feel like that would be the most horrendous look for me. Are you kidding? Oof. Maximillionaire, thanks to the four. Can I review Death Metal by Panchico for Tales from the Internet? Actually, thank you for reminding me of that, because I started... Like, people have been asking me for a very long time to do a video about Panchico. And I was starting to finally get around to it, but then I got distracted by a bunch of other other video topics. Because I'm the... my Believe it or not, my channel is... Everything I do on my channel is super fucking disorganized. I have a big folder full of half-finished videos, Panchico being one of them. Ooh, what do we got here? But that's definitely one I've been wanting to get to soon. There's almost no food left. I feel myself slipping away. I had to do that one like slip that's all. Well, not succumb to the call of the wood. I will resist. Bonk. I just hit that TV with the, the horny police. Oh. Looky. Looks like they starved. Let's take a picture. Come on. Took you on. The LMG. That's a good gun for shooting critters. Wait, did I just pick? Uh, I just picked that up through the wall. Well, they gave it whatever I'm about to fight. They gave me a fucking LMG for it, so. Hmm. 
Megalovania just popped into my head as I walked out here. Gonna make me walk all the way back to my car. The Octina Part 3. Of all the daring warriors who have started out in search of the Ulunsuti, again, only Aganutsinutsi ever came back successful. The East Cherokee is still the one that he bought. It is a large, transparent crystal, nearly the shape of a cartridge bullet with a blood-red streak running throughout the center from the top to bottom. The owner keeps it wrapped in a whole deerskin, inside an earthen jar hidden away in a secret cave in the mountains. Every seven days, he feeds it with the blood of small game, rubbing the blood all over the crystal as soon as the animal has been killed. Twice a year, it must have the blood of a deer or other large animal. Should he forget to feed it at the proper time, it would come out of its cave in a shape of fire and fly through the air to slake its thirst with the lifeblood of the conjurer or one of his people. He may save himself from this danger by telling it. When he puts it away, he will not need it again for a long time. It will then go quietly to sleep and feel no hunger until it is again brought forth to be consulted. Then it must be fed again with blood before it is used. Oh, that's the same way. Wait. It's not. I waited until I could no longer resist the hunger. As I write and as I die, I feel distorted. My veins and spindly organs are twisting and growing beyond me. I rejected this metamorphosis, and now I'm going to be left behind while my body keeps going. Please do not look for me, for I am long gone. So it's gonna be, he's going to be all crazy like those turkeys we saw before. With the extra big gobble gobbles. I like flower. This looks like a boss battle area. Where's my car? So there's an, I'm not just like gonna get my car. Oh, 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 oh. Alright, wait, the book before, I was talking about hitting its, like, seventh strike, right? But he has no strikes. Thanks for the five, you're what? Oh, wait, there's something over here for me to get. Oh, that's just fire, never mind. I don't think I can touch that. No. Yeah, it said something about the seven stripe, but I don't see stripes on them. Yeah, 
of flour to munch on. Oh, what? No, you can see it on his back. It's, oh, wait, wait, wait a second. You can see it growing on his back. There's like a shiny thing on his back. Flowers over there. So it seems like as I shoot him more, those things reveal themselves. Flowers, more flowers. Yeah, I saw that they're ending the Resident Evil uh, character to Dead by Daylight. Hoping for Tyrant. Thanks for the two action bastard. Hoping for Tyrant, but I feel like it's going to be Mr. X or Nemesis that they add to the game. show you my final form. No. No. What have I done? I nigh. Right. This isn't right at all. Oh. I nigh. Thanks for the five again, action bastard. Can't say bad words anymore over here. Goddamn, thanks for playing this. Glad you enjoyed it, sir. Yeah, this is the Dread X Collection. Dread X Collection Hunts, the fourth one. Craven. Phone, Torpledu. 
Oh, Torpal Duke's one of the devs. I played his games on uh, some of the other Dread collections. in vivo you like this game same creator too I've heard of lost in vivo I never played it though oh yeah thanks again action bastard I got strawberry bubbly Sonic Hedgehog esque Woo! ending we thing. Ending music. Cheat code unlocked. Oh, all weapons. I'm assuming that gives me all the weapons. Hero. Expansion pack found. Uh oh. said expansion pack now, but right, let's play one of the other games. A3, C3. Gods, I have seen some rough places on the fringe, but just what were you thinking, Sam? You're a doctor, not some kind of commando. Ugh. It appears the group had been conducting ex- Wait, the screen, after I went back to the other screen, it got all, like, resized funny. Sky did always tell me I should read more. Gods, I have seen some rough places on the fringe, but just... What were you thinking, Sam? You're a doctor, not some kind of commando. Ugh. It appears the group had been conducting expeditions Later, to collect Wessels. samples for Wesley's. some kind of weapon. According to these files, there should be seven samples, each associated with a different expedition. Well, Sky did always tell me I should read more. Wait, let me get... It was A3, C3. Gods, I have seen some rough places on... A3, C3. So that was the, the samples thing here. Come to Brazil! Come to Brazil. I don't remember if that was the spot or not. 
with the samples. Hello, Brazil. This next song is called Roots, Bloody Roots. That's my only frame of reference for Brazil is Sepultura and Soulfly. Yeah, this is not where I want to go. You guys want to go to the pneumatic tube stop? This next song is called Roots by Roots. I was actually one of the last bands I got to see live was was Soulfly. Better Oh, labor that's where we gotta go to. The samples. Sample. Oh, yeah. what the happened? Sample analyzer. Do it. It was. It was either A three C three or A C A three. That was it, right? But other than that, give me that shit. Analyze that sample. And that did something, I think. Uh, guess I'll just have to get the rest. First sample retrieved and inserted into the device. No obvious changes. Continuing research and sample collection. Thanks, Rodney. I guess, like, the way these are laid out, I guess it makes more sense for me to just finish all the games and then come through it. I do like... So, the other Dread X collections, it's kind of laid out in a way where you have to do mini games inside of the main hub world to unlock each game one by one. This one you have to unlock, you have to play the games first and use them to unlock something in the hub world. I kind of like that better because then you can kind of like. Alright, I know this, I think this is like a very long one here. So I might play one of these first. We got seven in total. Although maybe. Axis Mundi. The hub world is like this where we go into all the, you know, let me just play Axis Mundi. Because they're it, they're kind of set up in the certain order. I'll play Axis Mundi. Axis Mundi. Let me just change the resolution to something where I can before I like switch the window. better broken optics thank for the five at a pantera show sepultura was supposed to be there but max broke his arm so pantera played chaos ad and hung out for an extra hour it was dope damn that's sick. i'm fucking jealous you got to see that that's probably the main band that i'm tight i never got to see live is pantera Let's get it matched up in here. Axisumundi. Play style. If you want to focus on the story and be an efficient ghost hunter, is Hunter. If you're looking for tense counters and want to focus on quick thinking and skilled movement. 
I feel like for the sake of streaming, Hunted might- It sounds like it's better for a stream. Varmlin, Sweden. I am a ghost hunter. I've been sent to investigate a newly constructed shopping mall along Road 45. The construction company of course wanted to keep this off the books, requiring me to conduct my investigation at night. Doesn't bother me at all. Unusual work hours is a part of the job. After a long trip here, I'm eager to see what stories this place holds for me. Caught Pantera at an Ozfest with Ozzy and Sabbath. Marilyn Manson followed Pantera and almost got booed off the stage. Yeah, man, I saw... Oh. <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. I don't know, that would just end the game if I did that. Wait, wait, can I, like, not play the game again? What happened? I think I need to restart the game. Okay, there we go. Let's, let me not immediately just back out of the game. Hold aim to aim the camera. Press interact to capture a ghost. When the reticle is red, default LMB, right trigger, and press interact to continue. Quahog10, thanks for the ten, for the five. Will I do a video on Brazilian fart porn? I feel like the Cakes Farts video kind of already touched on that. Maybe, I don't know, that might be another video. <sighs> oh, they diddled me. Yeah, I saw Marilyn Manson at Mayhem Fest, and it was kind of... That time he was after Slayer. And it was also, it's like, at that point, like, I was like, I, I definitely, I don't know if you're watching no Marilyn Manson right now. He has songs I like, but it's like, alright, we got another one of these, like, aesthetic fucking soundtracks. Hell yeah. Shopping mall time, fellas. Take pictures, ghosts. Yo, it, it's so fucked up that now listening to this kind of music fills me with a feeling of aesthetic, a, a feeling of nostalgia for like five years ago when ancient fucking uh, music, when when the fucking the shopping mall vaporwave music thing was the dominant aesthetic. Man, probably longer, like eight years ago maybe. Photograph a spectral memory to enter it. Elijah Campbell. Jinx music video you're in is cool. Do I like Primus? Thanks. Um, I, I'm not hardcore into Primus, but I do enjoy Primus, Primus somewhat. Oh no, I missed the ghost. Now I'm going to die. Dude, I, f I fuck with elevator music. I even- I used to try- like, there's a company, Muzak, that makes the elevator music. I was trying to find Muzak versions of songs, like the ones you get in elevators. I was trying to find just recordings of those, but they're hard to get. I haven't looked at them recently, but- I mean, I haven't looked for them recently, but I think the only way you can get them is to subscribe to them. And have- you can't just subscribe to them, you have to, like, have- an elevator that you're buying access to the service for. Note to Mr. Bengt. The key to the control room is hidden behind the warning sign, as usual. Wow. 
looking for a warning sign. Goodbye, ghost. Sorry, Stinger, I used the key, but I hit it. Oh, this is gonna be like that fucking meme where it's like, look at the corner. Alright, now look at the left corner. Now look at the, uh, the play button. Alright, hit it under the table for me. Yes, it is a rock, dude. Where's the table? Where is the uh, table? Oh, there we go. Where's the table? There it is. Oh, my platform like this, huh? Oh, no! <sighs> oh, the ghost touched me in my no-no place. Oh, there's another one? Ah, oh, I missed you, you fuck. Oh, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. He's gonna touch me when I know a new place. See you down there. I guess that's the best way to deal with those white ghosts is to kind of find something that's kind of like they got a they got a fucking uh angle themselves around to make it hard for them to reach you. What's up, Ryoga? I need an item to interact with that, eh? We is item. Thanks, Sir Perry. Don't get juggled. Oh, wait, it's probably behind the warning sign, too, huh? Oh, no. No? <gasps> Hell yeah, congratulations, the Funk Vials. Oh, th there's a locker there. How long have you been trying to get to that thousand? Because sometimes with YouTube, it's funny. Like, you get, like, you get stuck on these certain, uh, plateaus. And then all of a sudden, like, you'll just get some momentum out of nowhere. If 
Like, I was stuck- on my channel, I was stuck at 7,000 for mad long. And then, the Taylor Swift video was really the first one that popped, and so that caused the whole back archive of videos to kind of start going off. To start the generator, open the choke. Sometimes you need to jump on it two to three times before you pull the handle. Pull the starting handle, close the choke. P.S. Fix the circuit in the third penstock chamber stig. It's not that dangerous. Pull the starting ha handle. So I got the starting handle. Open the choke. Where's the choke, though? Don't jump on the machinery. But do, I must. Starting handle. Oh, there we go. There's a choke down here. Open choke. I think we got it. It sounds like it's working. Oh, that didn't count. Oh, shit. Oh, there we go. Oh, you're a fucking ghost in here, huh? Yo. Oh, come on. Right, now I can come through this way. Didn't get him. Oh, oh, are you kidding me? Through the wall like that? There we go. Sneak up on me, motherfucker. Oh, nothing to go over there.
There we go. That's the end of it. I tried to fix the wiring like it told me. I fell. It's cold here. Oh, we're going back in time. Or forward in time to today. This all started after my grandmother died. I was the only one she could communicate with, and we talked a lot, became closer than we ever were when Back she to the mall aesthetics. After a while though, she told me where to find her old camera. This one. Turns out she'd been a ghost hunter as well, and wanted me to continue her legacy. I was instructed how it worked, and it was our last goodbye. She was the first spirit I photographed. Yes, yeah, this, this game came out a couple days ago. They just have that old school aesthetic. Preface. My name is Dr. Everett Mossberg. I've researched folklore most of my life, and no place has before fascinated me as much as this. Tales from all over the country seem to converge here, with experiences ranging from almost a millennia ago up until today. Following are excerpts from my research that I deem relevant for this place. May this reading interest you as much as it did me. But be careful. Some of these beings have a stronger presence here than anywhere else. Contents. Ghast, Herbloss, Witch Hunt, Sacrifice, Church, Grim. Miling, Conclusion. Recreate the photo on the right. Unlock this entry. So we gotta recreate these photos, huh? Okay, so... Dun, dun. I think I also am going to switch back to Hunter difficulty. I, really, I thought it was like a different gameplay setting, but I had it on fucking hard. I'll do a, the normal type. Damien Harris. Have I played Phasmophobia? When I think of it. I did play Phasmophobia before. Um, I would honestly. I wasn't like super crazy about phasmophobia. Like I did enjoy it, but I I I felt like a lot of games just kind of devolved into this. Like, kind of like aimlessness. Oh, wait, I gotta get it from the, this angle here, huh? There we go. Alright, ghast. Water, a source of both life and misery. Drowning was an all too common cause of death before swimming was common knowledge. Stories tell about the cold wind carrying whispers from bodies floating back up on the shore begging to be buried on consecrated ground. Sometimes this displaced souls would lash out at those passing by. Many coastlines, isles, and rivers were not only feared because of the dangers of water, but for those consumed by it. I also, there's like, because I use a, um, an interface for my microphone, I had a hard time using my microphone and phasmophobia the way it's intended to be. Something's giving me that problem. I don't know what it is. I also have that issue sometimes with, um, with VR chat. But I did play it a few times with, um, I mostly played it with Mudahar and uh, Nexpo. I think I played it with Mudahar and Andrew a few times. Uh, Hug Beast TV a few times. Alright, so we got. There are snow pictures in here. I gotta recreate. We got that big wheel. Oh, that's one right there, huh?
I haven't done a stream with Mudahar and um, Andrew in a while. I guess it's like a closer shot that I need to get. There we go. Oh, we got a firehead, dude. Over many centuries, people have reported sightings of unsourced lights floating mysteriously through neglected whereabouts. There have been many explanations. A local favorite refers to them as the Likudibidi. <laughs> Jack-o'-lantern. Spectral orbs thought to be the spirits of dead surveyors. Observing old roads and brooks or farmers patrolling the borders of their once reverently followed fields. They could be both benevolent or malicious, either leading you home to safety or straying into unknown spaces of night. I know, um... There's that Left for Dead uh, sequel that's coming out. Back for Blood or something like that. I was talking with Andrew about doing some streams of that with like with him and Mudahar when that shit comes out. That'll be fun. One person here died for conspiring with the devil. The key is buried above their grave. I honestly I haven't I haven't really fucked with um VR chat that much. I was killed fighting a war. I died in the plague. I drowned in the river. I messed around in VR chat a little bit. And then, like, what got me started on it was, um... Died for conspiring with the devil. Alright, that's what we're looking for. Um... A friend's birthday. At VR chat. And I was like... I was like, oh... This is actually a lot of fun. Let me get a VR headset. I died giving birth. I was struck by lightning. For some reason, the way these are laid out makes me think of that episode of The Simpsons. When they learn about The Simpsons gene, so Homer invites all the, uh... The Simpsons relatives to... The Simpsons cousins. To prove to Lisa... Died in play. I, mean, I guess it's the witchcraft one. I guess that's a little, uh... Yeah, there, there we go. It wasn't exactly what it said, but there, the witchcraft, there we go. But it makes me think of that, and the, the, the fucking the gravestones are just like, junk mail manager. Uh, I shoot bird at the airport. I don't know why the listing off names there made me think about it. It just did. Uh, I shoot birds at the airport. That's a pretty good impression of that one Simpsons character that appears for less, for like a second. I shoot birds at the airport. Oh, the thing I need is over there. Looks like. Actually, let me see what the next. Entry I need is while I'm out here. Alright, so there's a lantern looking at the moon. They only believe in the moon. Everything's the moon. Dark side and stuff. Are we gonna hang ourselves? Are we about to Minecraft ourselves? We're whalers in the moon. We're carrying harpoons, but there ain't no whales, so we tell tall tales and sing our wailing tune. What's up, two-headed chicken? That was one of my favorite YTM and D's back in the day. They had uh, edited that into 300. Uh, 
Where's the moon? Is that not the space? I think, I guess it's from... Oh yeah, the moon's in this direction, so I gotta take that picture from over there somehow, I guess. Attach item here. Okay. Oh, come on, you bitch. But yeah, that's Spartans. What is your profession part? That's what it's from. But YTMD, they are the fucking Spartans. I for, I forgot what who it was he was talking to. I think it was like the Athenians. And then that's and they edited in the Homer Simpson cousins. I shoot birds at the airport. Spartans, what is your profession? We're whalers on the moon. We're carrying harpoons, but there ain't no whales, so we tell tall tales and sing a whaling tune. I'm most certain she is a witch. She rarely shows her face around here. Lives on her own, and some people even told me she turns into a black cat to spy on them. We need to do something about this. On another note, there are some strange vines growing down here, but they don't seem to like strong light. Yeah, I saw Lindsay Ellis made the, um... The hour and 40 minutes long video about getting cancelled. I just, I just... I'm not sitting and watching all that. Thanks for the $2, the king. You broke 12 nuts today? You shouldn't have 12 nuts, dude. You should only have two at most. Maybe three. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I think I think it was an hour and forty minutes. I was just like, I do not have time for all that. Oh no! I right, night. Here's like I I've been saying this for years. Like if I ever get canceled, what I, here's what I'm gonna do if I ever get canceled. I'm gonna make a fucking two hour long video, and it's just gonna be me like I don't know what I'm gonna do in that two hour long video. It's going to be sponsored by Read Shadow Legends, and I'm gonna just stick as many ads in it as humanly possible. That'll be my apology for getting canceled video when the day comes. Yeah, it's three o'clock over here. Oh, what? Oh, wait, so this is like a Zelda thing where we gotta go in one direction, then... You easily get lost down here. Walk as the arrows say and you'll be fine. I heard rumors about Anna being a witch. If you lose past the mill, be careful around here. Having a Mandela slash thanks to the five. Having a Mandela effect. Did you make a video about some company grabbing old versions of sites where it claimed to have a dead link to go for a punch? I did. I think that was um 
I think that was was the most recent version of my go for a punch video. All right, so it tells me to go that way. Okay, so then we go this way. And then we just go this way again, right? And it's correct. Should be. What does that sound? One. Confused now because I went the arrow the one way. Oh, wait, now I can't. Oh, wait, yeah, I guess it did because now I can't go in that direction. Alright, yeah, I did do it right. This game, I don't think it's, it's not free, it's but it's like I think it's like a $20 game. Yeah, it's not free, but it's cheap. Oh, wait, I think there's... Oh, no, I still gotta get that one that's out here. RE4 VR is gonna be a Quest 2 exclusive, huh? That'll be fun. Is RE7 VR any good? Because RE7 VR, it seems like it would be cool, but then I saw videos of people playing it, and it's kind of like... I don't know, like, because, like, you're not grabbing things with your hands and whatnot, you're just using the regular PlayStation controller, it feels like it might not be that immersive. But then they're also losing their shit while playing it, so it might just be crazy. Okay, I see what happens here. but I gotta be standing on the platform for it to matter. Okay. So we gotta do that one last. Since the Dark Ages, the act of ritual magic was deemed illegal. But as the legal system evolved, so did the elaborate severity of punishment. In Sweden, this culminated in the 1600s. Several hundred were persecuted, sometimes resulting in torture and execution. Many diabolical tools were used, like the torture act, and at the spike necklace, and the spike necklace. If found guilty, they could be beheaded, hanged, and even burnt at the stake. Women were highly overrepresented in these cases and often had little to say in their defense. A questioning mind may wonder what recourse these hounded spirits seek. Thanks, two kids in a trench coat. Alright, so what's the next one I gotta look for now? The gravestones. There's gravestones and a cross that I gotta be wary of. Shit, there's like mad ghost seeds here, and I can't see them. Have you ever 
ever tried a game called Dead Stress? It's a crazy intense underground horror thriller. You may really enjoy it. Also, keep up the awesome content, man. Yo, Kyle Manthe, thank you for the 700, I don't know what ZAR is. And so, 700 is a fucking lot of whatever ZAR is, and I appreciate it. And I have not played Dead Stress. <laughs> Back here. ZAR, what is ZAR? It's crazy, intense, underground horror thriller. Me enjoy it. Well, thank you for your 700 ZAR, Kyle Manthe. Um, it sounds like a good game. Oh, it's South African? Okay. Well, thank you, Kyle. Um... Intense underground horror thriller. I'm not exactly like. What do you mean when you say that though? Do you mean like, in like horror thriller is in like kind of like a. What's that fucking game? Why can't I remember uh, amnesia? Like it's like is it amnesia esque? Is that what you're talking? I didn't want to harm anyone. I'm just different. Why couldn't they leave me alone? Probably the wrong word if you think about it. A very specific flash and film type is needed to capture a ghost. But it isn't the spirit itself that's captured. It captures the negative emotions that keeps them here with us. It isn't really about defeating some malevolent force. It's about empathizing. Oh, it's a bit like Outlast, okay. You know, I never finished Outlast either. The only time I played it was um it was... My friend was doing that PS4 remote... Not remote play, um, like, the thing where you can, like, borrow a game from your friend's PS4. Like, years ago, when the game was new-ish, my friend was just like, Dude, I had to, like, I want to watch someone play the game, but I don't feel like playing it right now, so he just had me do that and watch me play it. He's no time for coffee yet. Dead shotgun, why do I use YouTube instead of Twitch? I mean, honestly, like, a lot of the reasons why I was originally using Twitch and not YouTube for a while, I was worried that it would fuck up my channel if I had regular streams on this. That doesn't seem to be the case. And... And then at the same time, like, there's not really ways to grow on Twitch. Like, the way you grow on Twitch is you build your platform somewhere else and then send people to Twitch. So if people are already watching me on YouTube, I just, why not stream on YouTube if it's not gonna fuck my channel up? Because they've changed the algorithm where it doesn't fuck you up like it used to. Uh, oh, wait. I exited the game, but I'm back now. Um... But then, I guess the catalyst for me just going to YouTube for streaming as opposed to you as opposed to Twitch was that they banned so like all of a sudden like all my emotes got banned on Twitch. So I was like, you know what? This is fucking corny as fuck. I have no faith in your ability to grow on Twitch itself. And I want to try YouTube, so I might as well give it a shot. So what am I looking at here? I thought that one, this like this looks like it would be the way to go. But then it just says opening soon. Yeah, that's the thing too. A lot of people, they, and part of my reason for originally trying to want to uh, do Twitch more. 
people in general, people who watch YouTube just watch YouTube, and people who watch Twitch just watch Twitch. There's exceptions, but it's usually one or the other. No time for coffee yet. Wait, yeah, so I, I, I can't be here yet. Alright, I'm confused now. But yeah, my, my idea was that people, it's because, you know, it's you using one or the other, that if I can grow on Twitch too, then you're reaching people who you know. Oh, there we go. You're reaching people who you normally, uh, who you normally wouldn't ever have a time. Oh, wait, I did. That's the one I did already. Did I, like, miss something here? I miss the ghost. Well, this is the stage I already did. Skilled finding a war. Drowned in the river. Church key picked up. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, um, Long Shot Omega. It would be good if there is a better way for, um, for streams to be sorted on, on YouTube. Just, so, like, maybe, just, like, some kind of landing page for, uh, for stream. But... Like, maybe, like, just like, something that's more accessible, you click and it's just live streams on YouTube. But at the same time, despite that, YouTube still does a better job of promoting streams than Twitch does. You're so much more discoverable on fucking stream, on fucking YouTube, even though it's, like, not the main focus. You still turn up on a homepage, and... And sometimes you get sorted into the autoplay, and you, your stream actually gets shown to people in a way that that is like attempting for people to want to watch. Papa Gaba, thanks for the five. Down for supporting the channel regardless, but if you're down, I got a new tune along with a genre change. Let me know. Honestly, like, I've been, lately I've been having, like, a lot of people hit me up to, like, listen to their music, and it's, like, it's, it's not necessarily something I want to, like, be doing, you know? It's one of those things, like, if you happen to send it to me and I happen to be looking on my phone, like, I'll check it out. But, like, I'm def, I'm, like, not, like, really setting aside time to, like, try out new music anytime soon. But I appreciate the five. And thank you, uh, Moy Moya Monamheim. Hi, Justin, as a fan of old internet. YTMND, ED, your content is exactly what I need. Greetings from Slovakia. I'll take your hard-earned money. I will gladly take your hard-earned Slovakia money. Oh, 
Oh, that, yo, this guy snuck up on me the last time, too. What? I don't understand. Like, this... Uh, there had to have been, like, another one that I missed, though. Because I don't think I'm supposed to redo the stage like this. What do I think the scariest horror game is? Uh, oh god, no. Hmm. Honestly, like, the most intense shit for me, horror-wise, was when I played Silent Hill for the first time and got into that, first, that transformation on the way to the school. That was the freakish shit to me. Probably, like, the most freaked out that I've been playing a horror game. But I think that's just more because, like, that sh at the time, that shit was, like, new to me, you know? I don't think I would necessarily be playing a horror game now anymore and, like, get scared by it. anyone oh right, yeah so I took the photo of this guy it put me back into the uh, the hub world but yeah this is like all I can do here I might I had I it has to be like a different ghost somewhere that I need to get the picture of hunting is probably the wrong word if you think about it a very specific flash and film type is needed to capture a ghost but it isn't the spirit itself that's captured. It captures the negative emotions that keeps them here with us. It isn't really about defeating some malevolent force. It's about empathizing. Pretty sure that's the ghost I just took the picture of. Up the stairs. Wait, wait, so there's another ghost in that stage that I have to get? Oh, there's a ghost up there. thing again. There's one. I already did that one too. Hazard Street, Magnus. The plague has gotten worse, you know? We've had- we've lost a third of our population. 
people we know and love. Maybe we should give the old ways a chance. He wants to recover. And you got lost, remember? Ant hills are always placed south of the tree. They are close. I'm gonna have to remember that. That's an awfully big ant hill. Tremendous ant hill. Stop all the downloading. You ever played Dark Souls 3? Did I? I did. I th I don't remember. I'm pretty sure I did, though. But I never finished it. I just played it, like, a little bit. And then... First story is about summoning the church grim. About pressing the slabs at the stone circle in a certain order. I don't know much about that entity, but I know we shouldn't mess with it. Mention this Sunday. <laughs> Gotta get that tree in there a little bit. I gotta get it more of like a high angle. Kirko Grimin. The Church Grim. Oh, this guy looks cool. When building churches in the days of old, superstitious architects would occasionally wall in live animals during construction. These desiccated beasts were said to become protective humanoid beings that would patrol the church grounds at night, warding off trespassers. While mostly known in southern Sweden and Denmark, this tale somehow seems to have made its way up here. So what? So we got the shed over here with the thing and the gravestones and then that looks like it's actually inside of the hub world oh no wait, no that was that one stage that was that first stage that I played let me take a look at how that shed looks I'm gonna rock in a bunch of sticks Oh wait, here's the gravestones. Are these the right gravestones though? A video about live leak would be pretty cool, I think. Yep. I like it's one of those things like there are some videos I would like to make that are kind of there's not necessarily like a big narrative thrust over it, but possibly just like telling the story of the website. I did one like that on YTMND. I have a half-written one like that about Fark. That... It, I feel like the Fark one, like, June might be a good time frame for it. Just because I have, like, specific videos um, f that are further along in production. Yo, Moya... Moya Monheim. YTMND is TikTok for Millennials. Prove me wrong. I've actually... I've made that comparison before myself. I 100 agree with you. There's a lot of... YTMND like aspects of TikTok. You could pretty much take old YTMNDs. Actually, that would be cool. Like to have just a TikTok that's old YTMNDs. That would be perfect for that. During the Dark Ages, burying live animals was one of the shocking methods practiced in attempts to prevent the bubonic plague from spreading. During the Iron Age, it was much more common. And from time to time, even human sacrifice was deemed necessary. At least once, this tradition supposedly resurfaced during the plague, yielding a horrifying account. A rural village that was especially tormented by the plague was visited by a starving child. In a desperate attempt to expel the disease, they dug a narrow pit and lured the child in with a sandwich. Fuck, I'd go for a good-ass sandwich right now. <laughs> I said, in a thing about, like, children getting lured to their fucking demise... I'm like, yeah, oh, sandwich? That sounds great. Please kill me, fucking monster. 
Sorry to feel the, the kids. That's what happens to kids, though. They don't do that to adults who want sandwiches, just children. Start to fill it. The kid cried, Why are you pouring dirt on my food? I pray such barbaric rituals are never again brought to practice. Riley Reed or Lisa Ann? I don't. I don't know what either one of them looks like off the top of my head. I'm not sure which one I like better. I don't know. I would. I I could look them up now, but I'm definitely like not looking them up on stream. Etched in wood. Hell yeah! Thanks for becoming a sponsor, Max Thal. The right symbols will be found in three separate slabs. In the forest. Press the symbols found in the slabs in the east, west, south. And we use the. Alright, remember the anthill grows on the south. So where's. Is there an anthill close by? Is, east, west, south. Alright, I need an anthill for a clue. Alright, here's an anthill. Alright, it's an anthill, so. This way right here is south. East, west, south. But it's not like in perfect alignment. Fuck. Alright, so like right now I'm facing north. I'm facing north. Sir Perry, playing Majora's Mask in that Goran race. If I played MM, what is my take on that race? Love Sir Perry. Thanks for the five. Alright, so I I guess... Those are the ones I gotta get. East, West, South. Um, I... Is this not the most west one? Um, Majora's Mask? I never finished Majora's Mask either. I honestly, like, I didn't really enjoy it too much. I didn't... Like, a lot of people love it for that fucking, uh, the going back in time and all that shit element. And the, with, like, the day being the way it is over and over again. I did not find that particularly enjoyable. Although I did play as the Gorons in, um... I did like the Goron thing. Uh, my friend was, like, further along and loved the game. Let me look at... Look at this again. So... Alright, the right symbols will be found in three separate slabs of the forest. Press the symbols found in the slabs in the east, west, and south. And then, if the anthill grows on the south side... Then, I should be facing south right now. And unless that's the south one.
Unless it's oriented this way. find the note about the fucking uh Make sure someone just pressed the stone circle in short order oh, that's just telling me to press the fucking slabs I remember loving Ocarina of Time too, but recently I heard people say that it hasn't aged particularly well. Yeah, and hills are always placed south of the tree, they are close. Here, south, so then I'm headed north right now. I'm walking north. North is to the left of me. Anthill. It's an anthill. South, going south. South. I'm, just, I'm still oriented the same way. I already did it in this order, but... West. The right symbols will be found on three separate slabs in the forest. Press the symbols found on the slabs in the east, west, and south. Maybe it means like all of no, it says three. All right, I guess I just did it by accident. What's up, Lawrence Clockwood? Oh, shit. Oh, you're like a bug ghost? What is this? Shopkeep from Gremlins has a gaming channel. I'm about to sell you some fucking mysterious fucking shit. Oh, ah, cunts. Thanks for the two for Vergi G. Ah, oh, I gotta go all the way back here. I gotta figure out. Oh, I gotta figure out which buttons I touched by accident now. East, west. All right. 
Sure. Alrighty, dude. Thanks, Vergie. Glad you're liking the content. Honestly, speaking of the guitar stuff, I do want to put out, like, more, like, full covers. Like how I have that Night Court one and uh, the Sonic the Hedgehog one that I did. I hear strange voices from the West. Is that? Oh, okay. I might. A lot of people were asking for like some of the ones I did parts of, like Blue. I might do a whole episode, a whole uh, guitar cover of Blue. Da ba dee da ba dai. Chug Jug, they're asking for a full version of Chug Jug, too. They were too scared of the plague. They thought it was better to give the Reaper what it wanted. I was given as an offer. Here we are. Ideally, our death is quick and painless, but history is full of the opposite. It's the bad intentions and tragic outcomes that really haunts a place. There are a lot of stories hiding in the dark corners of the earth. I've had the opportunity to witness countless, and I know I've only scratched the surface. If there's one thing I've learned, it's that we all want someone to take a moment and listen to us, even if we're dead. Well, I think it's time for a cup of good hot black coffee. Ghosts never sleep, do they? Alright, so I got that one picture that was down there, but I'm missing... Oh, I guess that was the end of it, huh? Following the last few days of research here, I conclude these beings are not just folk tales and legends. I've seen them myself. There's something special about this place, a certain otherworldliness. I believe this is the location of an Axis Mundi, a bridge between worlds. I've decided that I cannot stay here much longer, or this place will consume me. I just need one more day to conclude my inquiries. I pay that the powers residing here will let me be. Night, Minji. Thank you. I do have a Wang guitar channel. I just never upload to it. I originally made it just for reposting Instagram guitar videos. And now it's like when I do a, a guitar cover video, it just goes on the second channel anyway. So the second channel is just kind of redundant. I mean, so the guitar channel's kind of redundant, that is. So, alright, so now I think... So, for this one, I... No, I'm not missing something from here, because I had gotten the, uh... Alright, so wood... But it's, it's not this cabin, huh? Let me just run through this one and see, like, for the cabin that I missed. This is, uh, Intemundi or something like that, right? He said, he said the name of... Yeah, Axis Mundi, there we go. Yeah, this isn't the one I need to go to. Progress outside the mall is not safe. Axis Mundi. Which accent did I do? I don't remember that I did an accent. To the mall.
ba boom 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 I think these are all the stages. I'm just missing that last picture. Yeah, the haunted and at the gates were dope. Yeah, alright, so the one picture that I'm missing here. Is... I think that was probably from the, uh... The la the other stage I was doing though. Yeah, it had to be from that other from that last stage. Because it kind of looks like this, right? I think this is it over here. Is there a stone or something for me to look past? Yeah, they, oh, there we go. Nice. Have you heard the wailing? Such a terrible thing. The ghosts of an infant killed by their mother. They are said to roam during the night, crying for proper burial, burdened by the weight of its anguish. The myling could become massive in size. Sometimes as large as a pig, these hauntings will leap upon the backs of those unlucky to cross their path. At this point, it may be too late for the victim. For even the wise who seek to free the spirit with holy soil may succumb to the ever-growing weight before arriving at the cemetery. Many claim the most fearsome of all ghosts to be vengeful myling, and I dare say I believe it. Alright, but it won't save the progress now until I finish the stage, so I gotta finish the stage again. Some combination of these that's supposed to, unless they changed which Oh no, they didn't change it. Oh. Oh, me your face, bitch.
That's the little babby ghost. We out here. Alright, so now I'm back in the mall with the book completed. I think there will be another, like one more ghost. Ideally, our death is quick and painless. But history is full of the opposite. History. It's the bad intentions and tragic outcomes that really haunts a place. There are a lot of stories hiding in the dark corners of the earth. I did play the hunting game already. I've had the opportunity already. to witness countless, and I know I've only scratched the surface. If there's one thing I've learned, it's that we all want someone to take a moment and listen to us. Even if we Oh, that's it. Well, I think it's time for a cup of good hot black coffee. Ghost never Oh wait, do they? the coffee. Let's get the coffee. I forgot about the coffee. Oh, that's the end of the game. Rose, the, yo, the soundtrack in this game was dope. Alright guys, so there's five more games in this collection. I will complete them. I have a bad habit of starting games and not finishing them, but I do wish to complete the rest of these. Uh, let me well, actually wait. Let me get back to the hub world. All right. Turn the board. All right, guys. I will continue this another time. Thanks for hanging out tonight. Oh, it's like four in the morning. Shit. Not that that's crazy late, but you know. But anyway, guys. Thanks for hanging out tonight. I will hopefully do this sooner. I've been doing this like every like week and a half, every two weeks or so. I'd like to get up to at least like once a week schedule for these. But yeah, thanks for hanging out.